Hi everyone, this is Denise from In Liquid Color. Today I wanted to put up a quick little mini tip video for you on how to modify the Winsor Newton Cotman Pocket Plus Travel Set. If you're a regular on this channel, chances are you've already seen my palette update video from last week, and in that case you don't need to watch this particular video. However, if you're finding my channel for the first time, welcome and thanks so much for joining us today. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. I have a full first impressions video on this palette and you can reach that by clicking the card above. Um, and at the time I made a couple of small color modifications but have since further modified the palette to hold more uh, either pans or in my case a water brush. So stay tuned for more information on that. Last time you saw this palette from me, it was still filled with these factory pan sets. So this little contraption. There were three of them in here and they held on to the pans of paint. So um, I didn't like that they rattled around and they're really big and clunky and took up a lot of space. So I changed the layout of my palette here. And let me go ahead and pull this apart so I can show you what I mean. All right, this set originally came with these three sets that would hold the individual pans of paint. Now I took those out because before between the three sets and this little brush it was all full but there wasn't a whole lot of space for anything else whether that that's brushes or extra pans. So I took all of these out and I actually adhered them to a piece of cardboard. Now this cardboard I had wrapped with a Ziploc bag which didn't prove to be um, <laughs> the most convenient uh, option that I could have done for myself. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart today and show you, kind of re-show you, a better method for changing around this particular travel set to have more space. All right, instead of all of that troublesome Ziploc bag, which the only purpose was to keep this piece of cardboard dry, I'm going to go ahead and put some packing tape on it. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess. Alright guys, so I have my laminated sheet here, and before I go ahead and put it into my palette, I want to line up my colors on it. Um, each of these is going to have an adhesive dot on it, so you just stick it to here and pull it off. These ones are already done. And we're going to try and line up the middle two first, um, so that I can make this as even as I can. And in this particular set, I'm doing them slightly in from the edge of the cardboard because there is a little, there's a little notch in the middle here that's going to get in the way of it laying all the way flush up against the edge. And then I can go ahead, move this out of the way, then I can go ahead and just line up the other ones going out from either side. So I have a nice little row there. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my yellows. And for this top row here, I have the bottom row to guide me. So now that I have my little tray of colors here, if I want to change them out, I can easily go ahead and pry them off and then just stick them back when I am done with them. So I'm going to go ahead and um, there's adhesive dots already on the inside of this container, but I'm just going to go ahead and push it in and line it up with the bottom. Line it up with the bottom of the enclosure and I'm pushing up against the edge here. And so what I'm left with is a nice little centered palette of 12. There's not quite enough room to get two more here, um, but I suppose if you wanted to try and angle them the other way, if you angled them vertically here instead of putting a water brush in, um, then you could probably get two more pans on the edge. But this makes a perfect little cubby hole. There's a line here, like a, a piece of plastic that used to hold in those sets 
of four uh, tray holes, but it perfectly holds the Koi watercolor travel brush. Um, so I really like that I can fit an extra brush in there. I can put the Windsor Newton brush in the top still where the Koi brush does not fit because it's too small. So I hope that was helpful if you have this set and want more room for either more pans or for a water brush um, or any other type of travel brush that would fit in here. So um, this is a great solution for me anyway and hopefully it helps you out too.